best possible. I'll take it up there now. Don't be stupid. None of them will be up for hours, and what difference will it make? Jimmy will do it when he comes in. Daisy. Anna. Oh. Just once in my life I'd like to sleep until I woke up natural. Is your father still in? Yes, Mrs. Patmore. Oh, no, no, I will one. This never cease. Have you laid the servants all breakfast? Yes, Mrs. Patmore. I'm finished blocking that stove. Yes, Mrs. Patmore. What about the bedroom fires? Oh, it, Mrs. Patmore. Right, we'll take the things and get started on the fires on the ground floor. Late, am I? You're late when I say you're late. Daisy, whatever are you doing there? Crouching in the dark. You weren't here and I didn't like to touch the curtains with my dirty hands. I'm quite right too. Why didn't you put the lights on? I dare didn't. Well, it's electricity, not the devil's hand they work. I'll have to get used to it sooner or later. Skelton Park, they've even got it in the kitchens. What for? Breakfast is ready, Mr. Carson. Ah, oh, William. Any papers yet? They're late. They certainly are. Get the board out so you can do them as soon as they're here. It's a library tidy. Yes, Mrs Hughes. Good. I want the dining room given a proper going over today. You can do it when they finish their breakfast. Oh, heavens, girl! You're building a fire, not inventing it. How many have you done? This is my last till they come downstairs. Very well. Now get back down to the kitchens before anyone sees you. If the world's is spoiled, could you give us a hand to take the other two up? I've got a ladyships to carry. I'll help. Back door. Papers at last. William? You're late. Yeah, oh, I know, but... But what? You'll see. Do the times first. He only reads that at breakfast. And the sketch for her ladyship. You can manage the others later, if need be. Silly. We wouldn't want his lordship's hands to be as black as yours. 
Mr. Carson, I think you ought to see this. I can't make myself believe it. Me neither. His lordship's dressed. William! Will you stop talking and take this kedgeree off? I mind the burners are still lit. Yes, Mrs. Patmore. Is it really true? Afraid so. Nothing in life is sure. Good morning, my lord. Is it true what they're saying? I believe so, my lord. I'm afraid we'll know some people on it. I don't suppose there are any lists of survivors yet. I understand most of the ladies were taken off in time. You mean the ladies in first class? God help the poor devils below decks. On their way to a better life. What a tragedy. When Anna told me, I thought she must have dreamt it. Do we know anyone on board? Your mother knows the Astors, at least she knows him. We dined with Lady Rothers last month. There are bound to be others. I thought it was supposed to be unsinkable. Every mountain is unclimbable until someone climbs it, so every Lady. ship is unsinkable until it sinks. Good morning, Papa. Good morning. What's that? Just arrived. Telegram. Is her ladyship awake? Yes, my lord. I'm just going to take in her breakfast. Thank you. May I come in? Isn't this terrible? When you think how excited Lucy Rothis was at the prospect, it's too awful for any words. Did JJ Astor get off? Of course, that new wife of his is bound to have been rescued. I've had a telegram from George Murray. One of his partners is in New York. Yes? It seems James and Patrick were on board. Been. They weren't going over till May. And they changed their plans. They're definitely on the passenger list. Thank you, O'Brien. That'll be all for the moment. But surely they were picked up. Doesn't look like it. What? Neither of them. You must tell Mary. She can't hear about it from anyone else. <laughs> 